everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I've been asked recently by you guys to demonstrate collage, masterboard, and journal cards from several different people. So what I'm going to do is combine them all together in this uh, fun little video. I hope you uh, enjoy watching this. This is a uh, another craft make with me. Um, first of all, I just grabbed some scraps of uh, old uh, book page I'm just random stuff anything I could find book pages torn things um, just grab a pile of stuff and we're gonna make a background and we're gonna if you don't know what a master board is as far as I understand what a master board is it's like collage vomit okay you just get some piece of paper some chipboard some kind of bigger piece you collage vomit all over it and then you cut it up into little usable things that are quick and easy for you to use that's my understanding of it. I don't go deeper than that, okay? I'm sure there's many levels of masterboard. This is 101, <laughs> according, and according to me, so take that for what it's worth. As my base, I'm going to use a uh, one half of a manila folder. Um, I do have a question for everybody else in the rest of the world. I get these responses that we don't have manila folders um, the way you do in America or manila. I, I, how do you guys file things? You know, I mean, back in the day when paper was, uh, you know, kind of the thing, what'd you do? Just sort of collect everything together and like hand it to somebody? What, what, what do you do? I'm very, I'm honestly very curious because if you didn't have those, there must be some other thing that you did and I just don't know what it is. But please uh, let me know because, uh, um, you know, we, we want to know. We want to know. Okay, so I am just going to cut this in two pieces. So I'm only working with one. The nice thing about the manila folder is that uh, it's a nice color for junk journal writing on the back already. It's a nice thickness for making a master board, doing a collage base, um, you know, having journal card structure thickness already. And these are probably the, oh my God, these, are, these have to be from Dollar Tree or something. They're so flimsy. Um, remember when a manila folder had some some clout to it. This, this is, yeah, not much more than printer paper, but it's going to work, which is awesome. So if, if you don't have any of these, you can just run down to your uh, um, Dollar Tree and get some or, you know, go big a friend or family member. They probably have some of these laying around. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue and stick collage. Okay. Now how we do that, there's a lot of, you know, mystery and tips and tricks and everybody, um, I'm always trying to learn like how to collage better too, but I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going around with my, I'm just going to show you what I'm using. Scotch Create glue stick. Um, and I, maybe I'll, I'll glue half of it so it doesn't dry on me. That's probably a wiser move, Pam. Yeah. You could also put in, um, we were working with some napkin the other day. You could do that. See, this is so thin that it's, it's causing the, uh, the paper to curl. Um, the moisture from the unmoist glue stick is, is even causing the paper to curl. Oh, that's so funny. Um, all right, that's all right, though. We carry on. We soldier forward and we craft. Okay, so you can use little pieces, big pieces. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to put a bunch of stuff down. I'm going to have it hang off the edge so I'm not sitting here stuck forever trying to decide what pieces to use. Okay, I used up all my glue. Um... Don't drop your pieces in the glue. That's not good. Okay. Uh, let's try that. That's nice. Okay. I'm not even overlapping. I just, I abutted. I abutted. That's what I did. I abutted. Um, there was really no pre-thought with that. I just abutted. Let me just put some more glue down. Apparently I'm, I'm putting things down faster than I had thought. All right. Maybe I'm just going to get some bigger pieces initially. Just, and I'm going to have them hang off the edge because I can always trim it. You know, I can always trim it. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're like an odd shaped piece now. Okay. Okay, that's got some gothic writing on it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like that gothic writing. Um, okay, so let us see. Here's some interesting. And I'm just going to abut at this point as opposed to overlay. And, and see where that goes. That way I don't have to deal with too many peely uppies because I can always come over and put something where they abut and then um, cover up any, any little areas that I left unabutted. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Just putting down another layer of glue. I'm feeling a little braver. I can probably 
take this all the way to the edge. It doesn't take that long to cover, really. You know, if you use bigger pieces, yeah, you're done in two seconds. So, um, but maybe you want different, you want might want variety. So, you know, look around, see what you have. And, uh, oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, so now I'm, but it's not square, Pam. It's not, I know, I know. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to stick it down. We'll figure it out later. Okay, so, yeah. There are a lot of different ways to approach this, and they're all good. I think that's the thing about collage is that you can do it a million and one ways. I mean, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, I hear you out there, but you got cool scraps and we don't. Yes, you do. You got to look around and you got to start collecting and become a hoarder like me. And then you're going to have cool scraps too. Okay. I just want you to know that that's the way it goes. Yeah. That's how you get cool scraps. You hoard. Okay. That's the secret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, here, this is a pretty page. I don't know where that's from, but, um, I, um, maybe a, maybe a new Testament or something. I don't know, but the, the page fell out. So I, I snagged it. Okay. Well, let's see. Here, here, here. Okay. There, that's good. All right. And there's just one little area, just another baby area right there. It's no big deal at all. Yeah. No, not at all. How about the Spanish English dictionary? Okay. That, that'll work. Oh, gonna get it on there? No, that's it. But okay, how's that? Oh, I made it not the right shape, right? Okay. And of course, I cut it too short. That's okay. That's okay, though. It's gonna be all right. Okay, so now we have a master board. Da 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 da. da. That's pretty much uh, a basic master board with big pieces. Let me just collect my my foibles here, so they're not all running amok. We're gonna do more to it, but this is what we're gonna do at this point. Um, see that? That's where we have a peely uppy. Now you can, if you want, you don't have to come and glue that down. You can, okay? And that will give you a nice cross over edge, which looks very nice. Or you can come along and line it up with the abutment process and just tear it off. And then there's no peely uppy anymore. Okay, so that is an alternative. But if you like the little odd edges, which I do, I do. I have a fascination with these little odd edges. You can come in here. Let me try a skinnier glue stick. We'll try this one. Amazon Basics. I don't know how you're going to hold up. This is a very thin piece of paper and you should be able to handle this. Okay, I'm going in. I'm putting it down here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's fine. No worries. Okay. Let's just put a little bit back on here. Let's see how you do. Okay. This glue is less expensive in case anybody's looking for a cheaper alternative. It's not quite as strong. It is washable. This is permanent. This is gooier, stickier. This is smoother, slidier. There you go. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so let's turn it over and let's just go ahead and, and cut off the excess. Mm -hmm. And you can cut this square if you want it square. You can cut it um, rectangle, however you want, you know, I'm just going to go for maximum so that I have as much stuff as possible covered. Cause I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Ne next. I have some ideas. I do. I have some ideas, but we're just playing in the craft room today. We're just goofing off. You know, this is the way it goes. We're having fun, getting ready for the fall, come in, getting ready for the holidays, come in. And we're playing with paper. You know, this, this doesn't actually have to have a purpose, but this is sometimes where most of the fun lies when you just grab. If you don't have a manila folder, I would just grab a couple, like a piece of scrapbook paper or a um, couple pieces of book page, glue them together so you have some thickness. Uh, now, okay. Now, I do realize that I have a tab at the top, and this is like overlay, and I'm okay with that. I'm... I'm totally okay with that. I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to fuss on it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to decorate it and see what happens. And hope it is strong enough to hold. And if it's not, it's just going to fall off. That's all there is to it. So now I have a nice square. I know it's not a square. It's a rectangle. Now something like this would actually be a really cool cover, wouldn't it? I mean, you could just go ahead and fold that and make a really cool starting cover for some notebooks or something. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, all right. I feel like what are you? You're all loose down here. See, the, the, this is this is the mayhem. This is where if you don't abut and you overlay, then you get the mayhem. So you got to come back in here and, and deal with the mayhem. Now, I've, I've shown you other trips, tips and tricks to deal with the mayhem of the peely uppies. If you don't like doing that, um, you can anchor. 
So let's, let's do a few little anchors so we don't have to deal with the mayhem. Okay, so check. Okay, here's some more mayhem. Okay, that's mayhem. Yeah. Now you could come in here and just do this. Okay, but let's say you don't want to do that because you never can quite get in there and it tears and you're not happy and it's all fuss pants. You just come with, um, you grab your little, okay. Here, I have this beautiful collection of punched outs. Somebody did this for me. Thank you so much. That was so kind and so thoughtful. And um, those are really pretty. Maybe I'm going to use them right now. Uh, but you can take any kind of punch outs that you have and just like use them to seal down the area that is, you know, giving a quandary, like maybe something like that. Isn't that pretty? That's just pretty on there. I mean, it's just totally pretty. Okay, how about a darker one so you can see it? You can use these as ways to glue things down. Oh, I really like that. That's really nice. See, I don't have the fancy machine that does this stuff, um, but it really is amazing, you know, these beautiful cutouts. And they take, I'm sure they take, you know, a lot of time and effort and energy to create. I know I've, I've done die cutting before with my uh, Sizzix Big Shot. It's very old school. It's a hand crank. But um, I don't have the patience to, to deal with all the little pieces. And maybe you don't deal with that with the machines. I don't know. Does anybody, does anybody know? Do they come out clean and crisp or do you still have to brush them with your hands and all that stuff? You know what I mean? The stuff? Okay. Okay. I'm just going to stick it. Stick it. Okay. So there's like really no right or wrong place to do it. You just put it down. Yeah. And you just do it. All right. Now we have that. Okay. And um, so let's say we have some other things like maybe um, I'm going, can you see? I don't know if you can see. I'm going deeper in my little, my little bucket here of weird things. Okay. Let me just put, okay. How about that? That hopped out. Let's, let's, let's do this. Okay. This is a, a petal leaf. A Heike gave this to me. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, I am using these. Um, I'm going to use my stronger one. And at these um, connection points where things come together, see that little, no, you can't see it. Come closer. We have a little mayhem. Oh, come here. A little, little mayhem going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to take this and deal with that mayhem. This is what we do. Yeah. There. No more mayhem. It's glued down. So you can do something. Like, you didn't even see that. That was amazing. And I didn't even show you. You just stick it on there. Okay. Let me back up. Okay, work your camera, Pam. Work the camera right. Okay, so now I'll actually show you, show me doing one. Okay, so here's like a little label punch. You know, I just just sitting around, punched out a bunch of these probably four years ago. Today is the day she's using it. Okay, so I'm just going around, getting this all gluey like, and checking for mayhem. A little mayhem going on here. I don't know exactly what that is all about. I might want to put a flower there, a butterfly. That might be nice. Yeah. Okay, now I got this. What am I going to do with this? Nope, no mayhem there. Mayhem. Mayhem check. Mayhem. Maybe a little mayhem down here. There's a little mayhem. Oh, here comes my hubby. He does not know I'm doing a video. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that little butterfly. Okay. Do we want to do a little white butterfly? Could do a white butterfly. That's a nice thing you can you can choose. With. Yep. Yeah, he has no idea I'm doing a video. <laughs> Honey, I'm doing a video. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, there we go. We have that down. <laughs> and um, he, he, he apologizes. Um, very kind that way. Um, yeah, we often barrel into each other's videos. You know, it's kind of funny where you know, two people are doing videos in the house. Okay, there. That's a, okay, oh, a pink one. That would be nice. This is just avocado dyed paper. Checking, there's something odd here. It looks like maybe a glue ball. We have two, two butterflies there. Yeah, I think that we're just going to double butterfly it and go from there. Okay. So this is masterboard making on a manila folder. Using what you got. Okay, I'm going to like that. And this happens to be some plant-related uh, book that I used, an old book. So it's kind of cool when you have the butterflies and the plant-related things. Maybe I need another one of those. Those are pretty. A little more. I really like one over here. Oh, that would be nice, huh? Yeah, that would be kind of cool. These are neat. Um, oh, I do want to get one of those machines because then I got to put it somewhere. I'm trying to wean down. Use less stuff. Use less stuff, Pam. Use less stuff. Trying, trying over here. 
in her hoard. I did watch a couple episodes of Hoarders. Does anybody ever do that to motivate yourself to clean? I do. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I definitely did. I think I'm going to free... I have some nice art books that I think I might give away on the uh, craft chats on... There, that's kind of cool. Um, on, set, on Fridays, uh, I... Oh, I probably have about 10 really cool books, but I just have them forever, and I've already sort of done stuff with them. Here's another fun little punch out. Um, so I, I, I feel like I want to be drawn to new things. Yeah, I want to keep increasing my hoard. Um, so I think it, it would be fun to release them to the universe, and maybe somebody might enjoy them, because they're really, they're really cool books. Um, okay, where? Here? No. And the thing, biggest thing is to find the right place. You can look for intersections where uh, things come together. Okay, but that's kind of close to that intersection, so we don't over-intersection. Because um, you never know where you're going to cut these things, so it, it really doesn't matter whether there's something right here and something right here, because they may not be on the same piece together in the end. I think I need to shave that down a little bit more. So I have that little extra piece, unless I glue something on it, and I do have things. Do have things. Bye, babe! Okay, I think you just left. Um... Uh, okay. Is it? Oh, that's kind of cute. I could just glue that right there and that will handle that whole little issue. Maybe I'll do that. I got to use up my stuff. I got like, like, as you can see, these are so cool. I really love those. I want to use those, but my, I am burgeoning, you know, it's like very full and Pam needs to use her toys. That's all that there is to it. So if you've come to the point in life where you need to use up some of your toys, let's make a bunch of these master boards together because they're kind of fun, you know? And you could do a lot more things on here. Okay, you can now. Okay, I'm just going to take it a little further so you can kind of see some other ideas on what you can do with this. But you can take. What's the matter, sunshine? Papa's coming back. He is. No, he just went to the. He just went to the dry cleaner. That's it. He just went to the dry cleaner. <laughs> I mean, it's all right, Bumble still skin. He is coming back. Sunshine is very attached to Papa, and uh, he's very concerned when Papa leaves the building. So, all right, let, let's just take any any stamp, Pam. Oh, well, is that going to be good? Well, let's try this. All right, um, here's a label stamp. I don't know, I'm just randomly picking something here. Maybe I'll try, should I, maybe let's, let's try green. Let's try green. I'm going to try peeled paint. Okay, so you can come along and do some rubber stamping um, just for variety. Because uh, maybe you haven't rubber stamped in a while. And I like to cross over the intersections. Okay, that doesn't really look very exciting, does it? Get closer, so you can actually see that something happened. I have a stamp. Yes. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't show up that well on the camera, but it is there. Okay, so maybe just put some of these down. Yeah, here. Cross, like three, like look at, I'm in different areas of the world. One, two, three. Okay, see that? And I don't, I don't know why, but sometimes crossing the borders of the intersections of the abutments can be a cool thing. Okay. Over here. Am I still in frame? Yep, still in frame. Okay, that one went a little stronger. Okay, so maybe I need a stronger color. You can even go right over another one. Look at that. Yeah. All right. And and you can come in with there's lots of words on here, but they're small words. So you could come in with bigger words or numbers. You know what I mean? You can you can add dimension and layer and things like that without actually making your paper thicker, but um, no, we're not using green anymore. Put the green away, Pam. Get get some black. <laughs> when you don't know what to do, grab black because it always gives you a, a good, uh, I'm using the word journey. Oh, yeah, let me talk about these words. Um, oh, that's so handy and nice to have words already preformed. These I find random um, on eBay usually. Uh, or Etsy you can find them. That looks cool, doesn't it? See how that pops? I mean, look at the difference between the the brown, the brown, the green, and the black. I mean, the black is like, yeah! The green is like, hey, I'm softly back here. And, and sometimes that's the look you want. Um, so, and, and you want to rotate your uh, angle. So if you, for example, if I want to put a word over here somewhere, this has this trajectory. This has this trajectory. This has this trajectory. This has this trajectory. So giving it a different trajectory than what is there 
will probably be the most eye appealing or noticeable. So now I, I put it on a, it's not exactly that, it, it's kind of that, let's, okay, okay, I could have rotated it a little bit. Um, but that was the goal, and I missed it, but I'm carrying on. Yes, that's what happens. Okay, so do one over here. So this one is like this, that one's like this. Now this one, I, I don't want to do it just like this, because that's like that, so maybe I want to do it upside down. Here. Okay, have it like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, but this, yeah, that really inks well. Okay, so I have a little, this is not very strong. I think I need to strengthen that. <sighs> Coming from the back now, strengthening this little area because I would not to, like not to lose it. Okay, what is this? This is like a inside of a book. And I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna glue it on there. I don't need the whole thing. Let's just take off, oh, a sliver, a sliver of whatnot. This is those inside fly leaf papers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so maybe I'm just gonna put like that, like that. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you can piecemeal these from the back as well. See, there are no rules when it comes to this stuff. And, and there are tips we can share with each other, like, hey, I did this, and, and do you like how that came out? Um, maybe there are rules. Maybe I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe there are official collage rules, and I'm sure I'm breaking them all. But uh, um, I think you can collage from the back. I'm, I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, there, I did it. I collaged from the back. So even if I cut this up, even if there's like two colors or something, I think that's kind of cool. You know, I mean, depending on what we make. All right, I really like that. I really am like happy with this piece. Now you can keep going and add more and add more and add more. But I think at this point, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut it up. I'm just going to cut it up and see what we got. Okay. Um, maybe I'd like to make some journal cards and I'm not going to, I really, you know what I should do? Um, I should turn it over so I can't even see where I'm cutting and that will be exciting, right? Because we don't know where we're cutting then. Okay, so I'm not like pre-deciding, oh, I need to keep the flower here because of da-da-da. No, none of that, no. Okay, these are going to be, yeah, they'll be big enough journal cards. Um, so let's cut the whole thing in half. I don't want to measure it. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll look, see how long, it should be, okay, eight and a half. So that would be like four and a quarter then, right? Four and a quarter is about there, okay. Yeah. All right, let's put it in a square using our craft mats, very handy. And a quarter, a quarter would be about there. Okay. Oh boy, I hope this is right. Yeah, here we go, we committal. Ah! Okay, we did it. All right, so now let's take this and double it up. Okay, and let's just cut a bunch of these out. Okay, see how we did. No idea what we're getting. But this is a great way to mass make some journal cards if you want to do that. Let's say you're getting ready for the holidays and you're just like, oh, I really would like some journal cards. And let's say there's not enough direction. Direction. If there's not enough decoration on any of these, you can always add more. That's the nice thing about it is that you can keep building and building until your heart's content. You know, I mean, that's kind of fun, isn't it? That you know, finally, there's some place where everybody just will you know, relax and play with their papers and nobody's going to come in and say, oh, you did that wrong. Well, they might. Um, or they might say, well, when I do it, I do it like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah. Or and, and sometimes there's great validity and we learn things. And other times it's like, oh, that's great for you, man. You know, but I, I like to do it like this. Okay, let's see what we got. Just taking a look at what, oh, sorry, what we got. Okay, so we have just these little pieces. Let me zoom in a little so you can see what we got. So you've got little pieces of decorated, you know, you can't see, of decorated things. Half words, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I, I don't mind that. No, because they're random. They're random little pieces. And I'm very, very happy with that. I've got a whole bunch now. Did anybody count how many I have? I have that many. Yeah, I know. That was quite a few, right? We got, we got two, four, six. Eight, ten. And if I wasn't yapping so much, we'd be done this in like two seconds. I, I should do a silent video. Would that drive everybody crazy? Um, where I'm just 
you know, not talking. <laughs> That's the, the silent. I think that would drive me batty because I would be, I would want to say something to you guys. So, okay, here we go. Um, now, if you want, if you have one of these gizmos, you can use this. You don't have to do this. You can just cut these two. These are, I guess, officially journal cards. But if you come along and you do something like this, this is called a crocodile dial corner chomper. The, the, the square angle, large, large angle, small angle. So you have choices. But now all of a sudden you've made a tag because you've nipped the edges. And for some reason in junk journal world, it's an entirely new beast when you do that. I don't know why, it just is. But it does lend some nostalgia to it because it's cute, you know? That little, little uh, um, tag look. You know, it's like we're all about the tag. It's just cute. I don't know, maybe it reminds us of like shopping and maybe we like that or is stock inventory I don't know maybe it harkens back to an old job or something I don't know why why do we like the tags um, but they're cute and we all we jumped on board and everybody started making tags so there you go and if you put a little punch and a little thing oh yeah you're really talking super tagorama um, oh that's pretty isn't that see how they come out sometimes it just works like that you know and the you know the gods are aligned and the planets and all that I don't think the gods align um, okay, so just do some, like, tag ones here. Okay, so, yeah, all right, I'm going to do another one faster, yeah. Oh, I, I grabbed the rounder. See, so you can also do round, and if you want, you can round all the edges, and that's still, this is now technically, I don't know what is technical, but this is a journal card, because you don't have the little blunted edges. They're soft round, but that doesn't count. It has to be like this to be called a journal tag. I don't know why. Okay, so, all right, let's make another one. I have another half of a manila folder. So this time, in order to make things super easy, I'm gonna cut off the stinking tag, uh, tab, so I don't even have to deal with it. I can just have a nice rectangle. I can glue, I can stick things to. Everything's gonna flow like butter. Just totally cursed myself with that, I know. I know, I know. Okay, and uh, what, what's that? That's weird. All right, so now this one, that's the one thing about manila folders. They do have these little odd edges, and sometimes you just have to deal with them. You either say, I'll deal with it now, or I'll deal with it later. This one I'm gonna deal with now. I don't want, any, I don't want anybody giving me a hard time with my gluing. I just wanna glue, reckless abandon style, and go. Yeah, okay, here we go. And now I have my canvas. We are going to work on the uh, manila of it all. Here we go. All right. Uh, I probably should have something underneath me, but I don't. Okay. Yeah, that's very nice. Scotch create glue stick to the rescue here. Okay, I'm going to do it about halfway. And if I stay focused and I move forward at a good clip, things will happen. We've got some torn pages here. That's kind of fun. Just stay focused. Even if a little shows through, it's okay because it's cool. And the tear itself is nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's put this down. Oh, don't get stuff stuck onto it. Okay, I'm not. All right, abutting. I'm attempting for the abutting maneuver. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, take that off. And what is this? Okay, let's look for some contrast. That's nice contrast. Okay, here we go, here we go. A nice abutment, nice abutment. There we go, all right. Now, if you abut and you don't overlay, you're gonna get done faster because it's just the nature of the beast. It's just the way it is. I don't know why it is that way, it's just that way. Because you're covering more surface area faster. I mean, that's, I guess, the obvious part of it. Okay, let's just, uh, cover it all. Yeah, I'm picking up stuff from the edges. Oh, lordy me. Okay, there we go. Just make sure you get your edges nicely. And it would be a good idea to have a baby wipe close. Of course, I don't. It's over there. It's, it's, it is within reach of not having to elevate the butt. Uh, let me just re, re, you know, stay that. I really don't have to get off my chair to get it. It would be just a slight lean and roll. You know, I could get it. I'm not getting it, but I could get it. I just want you to know I could. Okay, we'll do as much abutment. We're gonna have a little over, I know, I see it right there. Some mayhem right there. I know you're there. 
don't think you're going to get away and me not know you're there. I know you're there. Okay, here's a nice big piece. I don't like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here, let's just do this right to the edge. Stick it right to the edge. Yeah, yeah. Let's take that. Right there. Okay. Very good. Oh, well, there we go. We have a little something down here. And a little, one little baby spot that needs a little addressing. Okay, get in there and a butt. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, we're done that one already, right? And and let's say you have one that like the colors are too similar and I don't like it. You can come along and glue something that's not the same color, you know, so you're not stuck. Okay, don't don't think you're stuck. Let's go ahead and take all the edges off. So we have a clean uh, rectangle on our master board. What did I say I was going to do three examples of? Journal cards, master board, and collage. Okay, I think I am doing that. Well, I made journal tags. Okay, so I guess we're going to make journal cards this time. Um, there we go. Push down the cork back ruler. Sharp crafter blade. Retract. Turn it over. See what we're dealing with. What's working, what's not. Where's the mayhem? Here's some mayhem. All right, so now what we could do, we could remove or we could glue down or we could um, tack down with something else. Uh, oh, I think I'm just going to glue it down. You know, sometimes, you know, just take the easy road. Just take the easy road sometimes. It's okay. Yeah, not everything has to be complicated. No. Okay, so we do have, this is all up, right? Yeah, I know, you're just all over the place. Okay, I'm just going to come in here and glue this down. Oh, tearing it a bit. That's no, okay. Whatever. Okay, there we go. This is, yeah, we have one of these deals. Okay, I'm just going to fold back and then glue you down. Probably want to do a little bit of a, um, let's see, maybe we do something here. Wait, is everything, anything, anything? Okay. Okay, I have an idea. All right, oh, you got a little there. Okay, I see you. I see you causing mayhem. Yep, there you are. I glued you down. Um, oh, what's that? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, well, I see you. I see you. Okay. Glue you down. There we go. Okay. Not a, not a bad deal. Okay. So I have a little rough edge there where the tear is. Now I could cover it, which is always an option in our world, or I could amplify it. Yep. Work with it. Let's, let's show that it's an injury on the page. I inked it, making it look distressed. Now I'm going to get really fancy, and I'm going to grab another dauber, uh, maybe in blue. Maybe there's enough here already. And I'm going to just lightly ink right over the top of that. So I'm going to give it a, a multicolor look, which makes it look even more uh, edgy. You know what I mean? Um, more weathered. I might have to squirt this. I'm going to just to take this over there and squirt. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, what am I going to do? I'm going to... Nothing. I need some... <laughs> I need some blue. Where's my blue? Here it is. Here we go. Which color is this? Tumbled glass. Any blue will do. Broken china, tumbled glass, faded jeans, whatever you got. You know, it's all good. It's all good. There we go around the edges. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. And you could do this on every journal card, too. That would be really pretty, you know, if you want to do that. But you can, you can still have fun with what you're doing right at the moment. You don't have to, like, jump. Look at that. You don't have to jump straight to journal card. What is that? And why are you here? Okay, so this might be the... There, that's what you do. You get rid of it. Sometimes that's the easiest way. You just pull it off and carry on. Um, but the abutment method really makes things stick down better. So you don't have to do so, many, so much of the patchwork, but you can, you can. And okay, we're gonna do more. Um, was this really collage if I don't overlay or am I just gluing pieces of paper to another piece of paper? Which I, I think is really what collage is. Well, how about I, I take this and I make this edge the connections. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, look at I'm actually doing it after the fact. I didn't do any of that at the time of gluing. No, I'm coming in later. And the light, slight roughness of where the two little papers intersect gives the paper some tooth to grab some ink. There's also some leftover glue, which is picking up some of the colors. And that's kind of cool. I like that. All right. Yeah, I do. I like that a lot. Okay, we, we might do this with multicolors. I think that's where we're going to go with this. Yeah. 
Okay, did I get them all? I think I did. Oh, here's one. Okay, let's get all the intersections of the bigger papers. Now let's drop this and we'll go back to the, let me find the green dubber. Digging, digging. There it is. Okay. Oh. I'm armed. Just plain water in here. I'm squirting. Okay. I've squirted. Just I want to wake up my, uh, I'm horrible at leaving the lids off of my ink and everything dries up, so everything has to survive. Why is it making that milky color? I have no idea. Oh, I wonder if there's something wrong with my water. Maybe it's got the funk. Oh no, I'll have to look at it later. Let me smell it. Can't smell a darn thing right now. <laughs> okay, okay. So now, not everywhere. We're gonna accent. Accent that, okay. Maybe accent the intersections. Oh, how about that? Okay, like this. Yeah, let's try that, where they intersect. Yeah, you don't have to go everywhere. Like now we're doing little like little bits, you know? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe maybe a corner. Maybe one corner. Maybe not all the corners. Maybe just one. One one corner. Okay. Okay. Maybe two corners. Maybe two corners. Yeah, maybe two corners. Kitty corner. I don't know. Down a side. That's kind of cool. Oh, I like that a lot. All right. Um, getting overly excited here about nothing, and I like it. Um, Vintage photo. I'm going to grab this. Did I squirt that? I think I did. Okay, coming in with a little anchoring brown. Nothing wrong with a little anchoring brown. Doesn't have to be everywhere. It could just be some places. Yeah. Okay, so we're not using any rubber stamps, not doing anything like that. We're just going to do some of these intersection places. Just random. Yeah, this just. just when you start layering in the different colors of um, ink, you start to get a depth of distressing, which I just think looks really dandy. I don't know what to tell you. I just do, folks. Just so much fun. And this is a great way to use up scraps. All those people I've been sending scraps out to, do stuff like this. This is fun. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm looking back at my paper and I'm saying to myself, I really like that little tear and I wonder if I can create a tear. Let me see if I can create a tear. I'm going to check for puppy, no puppy. Roll without lifting butt off. Okay, I could probably do this with a craft knife too, but I was thinking maybe I could just put like, drag, I don't know, like a chicken came along and, can you see that? Let me look, here. I put, I put some scratch marks in it, like there was wear and tear, and now I'm going to try and pick up on that with my, my little rubber doodad. Oh, see how that pops out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me back it up so I can see. Oh, no. Hit the right button, Pam. No, that's too close. Back up. There. Okay, so just crossing it. It's almost like chicken scratches in, um, you know an old school desk or something like that's kind of cool. So now we want to come with some different colors and, and just amplify it up a little bit. Okay. And where's the green? Where's the green? Yeah, there we go. It's just a little bit there. There. So you can do stuff like that, you know, where you can give it um, different appeal, different look. You know, you can do different things with it. Um, let me go back to my little... Where is it? My collection of punched outs. And uh, somebody gave me these. These are wonderful. These are so cool. I think they're from coffee filters. And, you know, you could just, like, put stuff down. I mean, now I see the sun and some grass growing, you know? I mean, you could just take this stuff to the nth level and keep going, you know? There's really no right or wrong with what you put down on here. These are thin things, but they're kind of fun to play with. Easy to cut through. There, we like that. And oh, you know, you can always do this. You know, this is always the big backup. Okay, let's say you got your Stabilo Aquarelle da 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 8046 pencil, which is a water soluble, dissolvable pencil. And maybe you want to accent a few things. All right, here you go. Yeah, yeah. Takes more water than you think. Yeah. Don't be shy. I mean, yeah, you do risk every time, but it's only paper and hey, we're just having fun. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
And we've got that going. So maybe you want to do, um, now that you've amplified a little bit, maybe you want to come over here and just draw a line because maybe that's all you got. You know what I mean? And you're like, I don't know how to do that, that grunge stuff, that steampunk, make it look really cool and old stuff. You can draw a line. You can. You can just follow one of those buttments. And then you come with your little squirt bottle. I hope it doesn't have funk. And um, there. Now, now, see? You see? How cool is that? It, it's just starting to come to life. And um, you can even do them where there is no abutment. So, for example, see this red line? I'm just going to do it there. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, and because I just, I just want to. And I just feel like it would anchor. And there. Now I have it. And you can, like, drag it off into the next piece. You can totally do that with your paper. And um, come along here on the bottom. Maybe I, I'm compelled to put one there. And maybe some here. Eh, okay. I mean, I need more water. Yeah. There we go. Now we're now we're having some serious fun. Yeah, there's the guy. That's the ghost. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. So let's cut this up and just see what we made. All right. And let's. Oh, look at this. That's cool, isn't it? How the water is uh, with capillary action pulling into the. Um, little filter and creating, it's going to be like a ring moon or something. It's going to be cool. All right, so let's go ahead and flop this over so we can't see. Now I should, in all logic, wait till that dries, but you know I'm not going to do that. So let's just see what we have here. Would we say four and a half? Okay, four and a half, four or four and four and something like that, but approximately the center. I would say about there. Okay. And let's just cut these down. And still, I, I did excessive yapping, and you could do this faster without the excessive yapping. But let's just see what we get and where it goes. They cut pretty easily when you cut on the dry side. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Okay. Okay. Two. Oh, there's the lovies. Everybody's saying hello. Hello, my lovebirds. Uh, Leonardo, I'm happy. Yeah. Um, okay. Almost done. Now these do make, um, the Manila makes nice back writing. Oh, we have office max. Okay, that's fine. We'll figure that out. You know what? We can, we can collage over it. Yep. Or leave it as part of today's ephemera. Yes, people will look back 100 years from now at these and go, oh, they had a store called office max. And um, people were going there and buying office-like things. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, as well. Okay, let's see what we got. Cool pieces. All random, different. Don't know what to think about it all. It's just all different cool stuff. Okay, now, I think I will come along and grab my... Since I'm going to be making journal cards, you can you totally leave these sharp. You can come in and ink the cut edges and give it more, you know, pizzazz. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to round a bunch of these at the same time. If you, even though they're not exactly the same shape or, or you know, height and width and all that, you can collect them all down together like that. Then the little edges all come together and you can do a bunch at once, which is kind of fun. Okay, on this side, down, okay, so we've got those, let's do another bunch, we've got three or four here together. This does give you the strength of a thousand, a thousand beasts, yes. Okay, there we go, there we go, all right, let's put the most in here. These are all different widths, but that's all right. Okay. Oops. And of course you can take the, you, these are just nice bases or they can be completes. Because I think they're, they're nice and they stand alone on their own, holding their own. Um, but they are also pretty cool starting places. And it seemed to not have gotten that one. Sometimes one will hide. It will hide in the depths and you have to come back and Give it the old once over once again. That's okay. And there we go. We just have a bunch of these. And you can keep going, but these are just fun to have on hand because you will use these. They are never... Oh, we have mayhem. Mayhem alert. Mayhem alert. 
Alright, you can get in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, there we go. No more. Oh. There we go. Yep. No more mayhem. Um, and you are good to go. Is there mayhem there? No, it's not bad. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's fix it. Let's fix it. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's a little mayhem. There was a little baby mayhem there. That's because I didn't take my glue all the way to the edge. That was on me. Totally. I own that. Okay. And then, so these would be our journal cards from our master board. Very easy to make. It's really hard to go wrong. You can try a budding, not a budding. Um, and just have a lot of fun with it. Here's a couple more journal cards. I rounded those. Okay, but then here we have the tags. And I could go around and ink these. They would look very pretty. Or just leave them au naturel. Um, inking is just another aesthetic. So if you like to do those sorts of things, there you go. I hope you had some fun today. Let's, let's play with what we got. Create some fun stuff. And go from here. Sunshine, do you have something to say? I have something to say. Okay, all right, okay. Now, um, I want you to be um, focused. Okay, I'm coming. I'm, I'm very focused, Mom. I got this. Okay. All right. I, 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 I know exactly what I'm going to. I forgot everything. Oh, no. I can't remember what I was going to say, Mom. Help me. Help me. Feed me a line. Anything, Mom. I'll take anything. Um. You want to go to the park? <gasps> Mom. Those are the sweetest words you ever said. Yes, I would like to go to the park. Okay, we'll go to the park. Okay, I love you. I love you too. I love everybody out there. Happy crafting. Don't forget to go to the park. Bye. <laughs> okay. Well, that's right. <laughs> okay, everybody. So I hope you had some fun here today. Um, these are really, if you've been, these are super easy, super fun to make. If you have never tried a master board, this is probably the most basic, simple style to do. Um, but you can get grand results and have a lot of things to play with with your journals going forward and these are going to be great to tuck into corners and tucks and pockets and um, you can put them in envelopes and look I'm going to set them all up like a giant fan or a um, like I'm playing a card game here um, that would be fun wouldn't it making cards out of these that would be actually really pretty cool um, so anyway, have lots of fun out there. Uh, remember to sign up for my free monthly email newsletter and uh, you're going to get a free digital image, checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, uh, page list of ideas, my Etsy shop. I have vintage digi kits, fundals, print and mail, and journals and bundles when they're ready. I have an Amazon shop with um, links to my favorite tools and supplies. I have a merchandise shop if you like create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. And you would like to have that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, um, um, uh, zipped hoodie, mug, tote, you name it. I got you covered for the holiday season. And uh, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. And remember, most of all, you can have a lot of fun with what you have already. So uh, let's use up our scraps, make fun things for the fall. And it um, doesn't matter if they come out wonderful or not. Let's just have fun at it no matter what. Take care, everybody. Create with reckless abandon. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>